Hey guys, Yuvraj here from the Brainstorm Force team, makers of Astra for WordPress. And in this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about image SEO. With traditional SEO, the benefits of optimizing a website are pretty obvious. You get higher search rankings. But what about image SEO? What are the benefits you can get or benefits you can expect for your website if you implement image SEO on your website? Well, there are two kinds of benefits, so let's discuss them. The first benefit you can get by implementing the proper image SEO on your website is higher rankings in Google image search. That's right. Google image SEO also has an algorithm of its own. And if you want to rank higher in Google image search, then you want to implement all the techniques I'm going to show you in this video by optimizing your images or implementing the right techniques for image SEO on your website. Now, the second benefit of having the right image SEO on your website has to do with avoiding the negative effects of unoptimized images on your website. Now, you might not realize it, but images are a huge part of the web. In terms of size, they make up as much as 80% of a single web page. That means unoptimized images can really drag down your page in terms of website speed. That is why you need to optimize the images on your website so they don't have any negative effects on your website's general SEO. So the first part of this video will be all about optimizing your images for the best performance on your website. And the second part of this video will be all about making sure that Google understands your images better so that it can rank your images higher in Google image search. With that, let's get started with the first video. Make sure you use the timestamps and the chapter markers in the description of this video if you want to learn about a specific section quickly. And the first thing that you need to implement on your website is using or choosing the right image formats. Now, technically, Google Images does support BMP, GIF, or GIF, JPG, PNG, WebP, and SVG image formats. But even though Google does support this, does not mean all these image formats will work the same way when it comes to performance. You'd be surprised to know how big of a difference it can make to the image's size if you choose the incorrect format. Here are some examples on the screen, and you can see the massive difference in size compared to BMP, JPG, PNG, and WebP images. That is why choosing the right image format is critical to the performance of your website. Now, choosing the right image format can be technical, but here are some basic guidelines that you can implement on your website to help choose the right image format for most of the images on your website. For logos and illustrations, the best format to choose is SVG. For photographs or regular pictures, better use JPG or WebP. For animated images, GIF or WebP is your best bet. For transparent images or images with a transparent background, you can use WebP or PNG. Now, technically, you can use WebP in a bunch of different scenarios, but the browser compatibility of WebP is still not 100%. So make sure to implement WebP images on your website with a fallback option. Now, we already have done a video about how to use WebP images on your website the correct way by using a plugin. And I'll leave a link down in the description just below the like button to that video so you can check it out. That video will also help you understand how to change existing images on your website to a more appropriate format. Let's talk about point number two when it comes to image performance, and that is the size of your images. Now, when I say size, I actually mean resolution or the number of pixels that an image has. Now, every image that you upload to your website has a particular resolution. And most of the time, you don't need images that have a higher resolution than your theme's maximum width. For example, if your website looked like this, there's no sense of having images that are this wide. You can save a lot of server resources and improve the performance of your website if you actually resize those images to a more appropriate size. Now, there are tons of ways to resize images. You can do them on your computer, use a web service or a free application on your computer that can resize images or even resize images on your server directly. Now, we're not going to go into all the details because technically we have done a video about compressing and resizing images on your website. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description just below the like button so you can check it out. Let's talk about point number three when it comes to optimizing images on your website for the best image SEO. And the step that you need to implement is called compression. Now, compression usually works like magic. It does not reduce the number of pixels your image has, but it does reduce the size of your image significantly. And by playing around with the quality or compression of the images on your site, many times you'll be able to create identical looking images with a massive reduction in size. And that means your web server won't have to work as hard to serve those images to your audience. That means faster performance on your website. I've talked about compression and resizing in a lot more detail in a previous video I've done. And of course, I'll leave a link down in the description just with the like button. So make sure to check it out and give me some feedback on that. Talking about the next important step you need to implement on your website with regards to image performance or image SEO is called caching. Caching is a process in which your server creates a copy of your entire page with all its assets before your visitors arrive on the page. 
This way, when a visitor does arrive, your server does not have to spend time and resources putting the page together, thereby improving performance many fold. Caching is a must have on any modern website and it will help massively with image SEO and general website performance as well. To implement caching, you can use free WordPress plugins like W3 Total Cache, but if you want to squeeze performance even further, I'd recommend using a premium plugin like WP Rocket. Setting up caching can be tricky. That is why I recorded an entire training to help you understand how to install and set up WP Rocket on your website for the best results. The training is available on Skillset Academy, and although it is not free, it will definitely help you level up your knowledge about improving your website's performance. Make sure to check out the training from the link in the description. Step number six that you need to implement on your website for the best image SEO is using a CDN. Now CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. Just as a pizza place can massively improve their delivery times by opening up multiple branches throughout a city, effectively creating a pizza delivery network or PDN, your website can also improve performance massively by implementing a content delivery network or a CDN. A CDN is nothing but a collection of servers across the world whose sole job is to serve your closest visitors. So if a visitor tries to access your website from Australia, the CDN server in Australia can serve most of the requests, thus freeing up your server to serve more visitors. Now, implementing a CDN on your website can feel like a massive intimidating task. Trust me, it's not. There are plenty of services out there that are quick to set up, easy to use, and also are friendly on the pocket, which you can use to implement or set up a CDN on your website. The CDNs that I recommend to most beginners are KeyCDN and BunnyCDN. Both of them have great services and are friendly on the pocket. And if you host your website using a recommended host Cloudways, you can have a CDN implemented on your website with just a couple of clicks because Cloudways has a CDN service of their own. If you need help setting it up, talk to a support agent from Cloudways and they'll be happy to help you out. Links to KeyCDN, BunnyCDN and Cloudways are in the description of this video. Make sure to check them out. With that, we've discussed all the important steps that you need to take on your website when it comes to image SEO and your website's performance. And the next set of steps that we're going to discuss are all going to be about how to make sure that Google understands the images on your website and eventually help Google to rank your websites better in Google image search. So let's talk about them. So talking about all the steps that you can take to help Google understand the images on your website better, the first step that you can take is to use relevant images on your website. Now this is coming directly from Google's image SEO documentation and they explicitly say that you should be using images that are contextually relevant to the page. And it kind of makes sense. If you have a website that is all about pizzas, it makes little sense to have images of cats on the website, right? Google also says that you should be using original images as much as possible. So don't just go to Google images and download the first image you can find there and use it on your website. That's a strict no-no. Talking about the next step you can implement on your website to help Google understand the images on your website better is to strategically place the images on your website. Now, this is coming from Google's documentation as well. It says, Whenever possible, place images near relevant text. And they also recommend placing the most important images or image near the top of the page. A simple example of this is Brian Dean's website, backlinker.com. If you observe any of his content, he does place a relevant image on the top of the page and he also adds appropriate images alongside the content too. This helps with his website's image SEO and also makes his content more visual and easily consumable. So the next time you're adding any image on your website, make sure to pay attention to what the image actually is and also where you're placing that image on the particular page on your website. Talking about the next step that you can implement on your website to help improve your image SEO is to have high quality content on your website. Now you might be thinking, Yuvraj, is this tip really related to image SEO? And I'd say, yes, it is. Because Google has officially said that Google considers the page content quality when ranking images. So if you want to rank images on your website or images from your website, you also need to have excellent content or amazing content on your website. The next step that you should take for great image SEO on your website is to create image sitemaps. Just as a book's index helps you discover the content of the book faster, sitemaps help Google find the content on your website faster. Although WordPress natively has the functionality to create sitemaps for you, unfortunately, it does not include images in the sitemap and it's left to third-party plugins to do that. But the good news is the most popular SEO plugin, Yoast SEO, does include this feature. So if you're using Yoast SEO, you already have image sitemaps on your website. 
And other SEO plugins also have similar functionality. So if you're using any other plugin apart from Yoast SEO, make sure to check out their documentation. Speaking of Yoast SEO, I recently did a complete training about Yoast SEO, how to use it, the best settings, how to configure it, the works. Make sure to check it out if you're interested in Yoast SEO. I'll leave a link in the description just below the like button. The next important feature that you should be implementing on your website for great image SEO is to have responsive images on your website. Now, if you've not heard the term responsive images before, responsive images just means images that automatically adjust to the size of the device they are being viewed on. That means your visitors get a similar positive experience whether they view your website on a mobile phone, their tablets, or even their computers. Creating responsive images is a bit technical. It requires you to create multiple versions of the same image and then use the image source set and the image source tags in HTML to provide the right image sizes for different devices. It's all documented in Google's image SEO guidelines. If you started worrying after looking at all the technical aspects, don't. If you're using WordPress, all of this is taken care for you automatically. WordPress will not only create the different kind of images, it will also add the tags automatically. Here's an example of a WordPress website's image where you can clearly see that WordPress has added the image source set and image source tags automatically while also specifying the right size of image for each tag. The next important step you should take to have great image SEO on your website is to use descriptive titles, captions, file names, and other meta information for images on your website. This one is kind of obvious. Google explicitly says that they extract information about the image from the captions, titles, and file names of an image. So the more information you can give Google, the more likely that Google will understand your image. Although Google is very smart when it comes to artificial intelligence and machine learning, it's far from perfect. On non-obvious images, even Google will struggle to identify what the image is about. The image name and other meta information can really be helpful here. You can add or change image titles and captions from WordPress easily, but WordPress does not give you the option to change the image name. Worry not, it is possible with plugins and I made an entire video on how to do it. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. The next important step that you should take to have great image SEO on your website is to use descriptive alt tags for your images. Alt tags or alternate tags helps Google and people understand your images. They're especially helpful for accessibility and also useful for screen readers and slower internet connections. Alt tags can also add as anchor text when you use images as links. As I demonstrated in the previous point, Google can understand your images using AI and ML, but it's still far from perfect. So adding the right alt tags is still recommended for all these reasons. To add alt tags to images in WordPress, open the image in the media library, then use the alternative text field to add the alt tags. Once you save your changes, the alt tags will be applied to the image automatically. If you have a lot of images on your website, you might want to use a plugin that adds alt tags to images automatically, just like this one. I'll leave a link down in the description for this plugin if you want to check it out. Also keep in mind that some SEO plugins also offer this as a feature, so check your SEO plugins documentation to see if your plugin supports it. The next step that you need to take to have great image SEO on your website is to have the right kind of schema on your pages. As I already mentioned, Google uses the content on the page to understand your image. A great way to provide detailed context about your page is by adding the right schema on the page. For example, if your page is about making food, add the recipe schema to the page. And if your post is about jobs, add the job posting schema, and so forth. You can automate the schema adding process on your website to a large degree by using our premium schema plugin, Schema Pro. Once you configure Schema Pro correctly on your website, it can start adding the right schema on all your pages with minimum effort from your end. You can even use Schema Pro to add the right licensing schema to images on your website. I recently made a video about this, so make sure to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Once Google does understand your pages and the images on those pages, you might start seeing descriptive badges on your images in Google search, which will be a sign that Google has started getting your images. And that's it. Those are all the easy steps you need to take to have great image SEO on your website. Happy getting more traffic. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you learn something new, also subscribe to this channel. And if you have doubts about anything I mentioned in this video, make sure to leave it in the comments. Make sure to subscribe before you go. You are listening to Yuvraj from the Brainstorm Force team. Check out some other WordPress tutorials I'll leave on the screen right here. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care and stay safe.